There's a feature in Illustrator that can be really handy for getting certain effects. Now, right up here above the MTV store, there are some portraits. I'm going to zoom in to the high-res version of it. And there you see these portraits. Now, these portraits were created entirely in Illustrator and Photoshop. But if you don't want to take the time to recreate all these little shapes, there is a feature that allows you to take a photograph and get this exact kind of a look. Let's go see what that is. I got here a photograph of Linda. I want to go in there and make it look more like that kind of a stylized black and white drawing. So what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of this background. So I'm going to go in there and select her. So let's just go in there. And with my lasso, I'm just going to go in there and select this area here and just go around. It could be loose because of the fact that we are going to heavily contrast this thing, right? We're going to totally change it so it doesn't look like what it is currently. So I'm going to do that. And let's just add to the selection by pressing my shift key and surrounding this whole area here. And there it is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to a new layer via cut. I'm going to pick up this background color right here and put it in my background. And then I'm going to go to my layers and take the background and I'm just going to fill the background with that color. All right, so there. We've got that background taken away. So now I'm going to flatten this. And I do want to add a little more contrast to her. I want to add some more contrast, so I'm going to get some nice details when I convert it to that black and white. So I'm going to go into my levels. Go to Adjustments and go to Levels. And right here in Levels, I'm going to go in there and start lightening up certain tones and darkening others just to get some nice contrast happening inside her face. So I'm going to go in there and start doing this kind of a thing. And I got some nice contrast and some details happening, especially in the necklace. Let's go in there and brighten that up a little bit. There. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to save this, and we'll call it Linda Contrast. And we'll save it right here at the top level. And now we'll go into Illustrator. And in Illustrator, I'm going to place that picture. File, Place, and there's Linda Contrast. Place. Now, when the picture came in, did you notice that everything here changed? It became these buttons. I'm going to enlarge her a little bit, just so we have more to work with right there. There she is. And now that I have her in place, I'm going to go in and say Live Trace. And right off the bat, we see that we have this black and white drawing. But you know what? I want to have a little more detail. So once I've done that, this little button here is going to bring me into the Tracing Options. So I can go in there and refine this little drawing. I'm going to turn on my preview so I can see exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take my uh, threshold here, and I'm going to raise it up a bit. And you can see it's started to get a little darker in areas, maybe lighten it up a little bit. And I simplified it a little more. So let's keep it right about this area here where we start to get some tones. Now, keep in mind that these are vectors that can be modified at any time. So I can go in there and let's say we make this grayscale. And these are individual vectors that I can play with, eliminate, recolorize, do whatever. I can increase the amount of colors so it starts to look even more photographic. Or we can even go to color. And there we see we have some color. I can increase the number of colors so it almost starts to look like the original photograph, except these are vectors. They are not pixels. So they can be modified individually. So it'll come way down to, say, about nine colors. And we get these nice individual shapes here. But we're going to go back to our original choice, which is the black and white. And there we see that we have that. So I'm going to say trace it. And there's the effect that I want. Now I want to modify this. I want to affect a couple of these little uh, vectors separately. So after it's done, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say object expand. Click OK. And there you see that now we have individual shapes that I can manipulate at any time. So I can grab this little thing here and just give it this big bump over there. No, we don't want to do that to Linda. So we'll just go in there and just kind of round this out a little more, do all kinds of things. Maybe we could take this little part of her lip and just kind of bring it up a little, bring it down so we get this little smile happening there. And you can see how we can manipulate any of these vectors in any way we want. And we turn that photograph into this nice black and white rendering.